Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for May 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like to look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. My email is in the description box below. Tell me a little bit about what you're looking to understand and I will help you get all set up. Yes, uh, time is an illusion, energies are fluid. So this, I'm starting to really feel like even these monthly messages are very much um, timeless. It's just whatever needs to come through for you at this moment in time for these monthly messages. This is, could be something that could happen for you this month, or it could be something that's coming on down the line and spirit just is trying to prepare you for it. Or we're talking about something from the past that you're trying to decompress or unpack and like get some more information on. Yeah. Um, so keeping it cute. Um, I'm doing a little bit the same, but yet a little bit different again this month. So I'm starting with the tarot, getting your general messages, and then I'm going back to having the oracle guidance at the end. But this month, instead of using the oracle of the unicorns, I have decided to go with the crystal mandala oracle deck to give us a little more of a clear, I guess, pinpointed guidance. Yeah. All right, Scorpio. Um, and also understand that, you know, I, I'm reading for the Scorpios here. I'm going to most likely be speaking from the point of view of the Scorpio, but we do have cross watchers. So just take it how it resonates, guys. Okay. If I'm saying something that resonate, which resonates with your system, but the, your situation, but the way that I'm like describing it doesn't necessarily work or isn't necessarily like in line with your situation, yet the message still resonates, just flip, just uh, place it how it fits. Okay. All right, Scorpio, let's get into it. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for May 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Scorpio. So during the pre-shuffle, before I started recording, uh, a few cards came out. Uh, death, which is your card, um, the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Swords. Also, if after that was the Three of Cups. So you might be going through with some sort of transformation. Um, I just I, either either you're going through some sort of transformation, or which is what death symbolizes, or it was just speaking to your energy. With the King of Swords though, I feel like you're being extremely logical right now. Um, more logical than you may have been in the past. Scorpio is a water sign and so you guys can, you know, have strong, intense emotions, but I feel like you're really working on keeping your emotions in check um, and not, and looking at things from a analytical, logical point of view with this King of Swords energy. You may be going through a situation in which, you know, you're really putting your emotions to the side and you're really working on seeing something as it truly is rather than what your emotions may say about it. Now, I'm I, I'm not going to say this is a bad thing because then uh, coupled with the Knight of Pentacles that came out, you're moving fairly slowly towards something or someone is moving fairly slowly step by step again i really i really just feel like you're letting your logical mind take the lead in this sense instead of maybe your emotions and i don't necessarily want to say over your intuition i feel like you're kind of working with your intuition but you're still keeping everything in check by being logic as logical as you possibly can with that king of swords energy three of cups is body mind and spirit um it's also a celebration it's also a union card i feel like for some of you you may be moving slowly towards some sort of union maybe even a reconciliation with someone okay all right scorpio i'm gonna give this three more shuffles and then we'll see what we've got for your month yeah Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May 2019. Scorpio, best messages, please. Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, month of May 2019. Last shuffle, Scorpio. And we will see what we've got here. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Scorpio, we're starting you out with the Six of Cups. So there might be a soulmate situation here that you're kind of connecting with. 
um, or you might be dealing with some things from the past. And that could really be what this transformation is for you with the death card that came out during the pre-shuffle. You might be really working, uh, working really hard or diligently, quite diligently, especially with the Knight of Pentacles energy that came out in the pre-shuffle, um, towards healing some sort of past circumstances, some past trauma. This could be from your life, your, from your childhood. This could be past life trauma. This could be something just from like the recent past or like the fairly recent past within you, like they know the next the past few years or something like that. Okay. Ooh, but looky here underneath the six of cups is the lovers. So you could be dealing with a Gemini. You could have Gemini in your chart. Um, there could be a really strong soulmate relationship around you underneath that. Oh, you have judgment and actually judgment came out. Um, yeah, judgment when, when the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords and the death card came out, judgment was on the bottom of the deck. So here it is again. Um, wow. Underneath judgment is holy moly, the world. Whoa, Scorpio. Okay. Um, for some of you, if you are working on healing some sort of situation from the past, um, it, you're really like closing it out. It's very much coming to a close here. Um, there is a sense of completion that's coming into play here for you. Uh, you could have, um, a ch well, uh, I'm sorry, the lovers does represent a choice sometimes. Um, and with, for some of you, if you're connecting with someone, you are moving slowly. Okay. Very slowly. You do feel this connection. You're aware of it. Uh, I kind of want to say that you manifested this somehow, maybe indirectly. Uh, what judgment is saying here is that you've been going through an ascension process or you are ascending. You are having to really make a decision. Um, and with the world, there's a closing of a big cycle here, a very big cycle. Now, for those of you that are healing, that are dealing with some things from the past, you are absolutely closing out that cycle. And with the lover's card here, I often see the lovers as a choice between vice or virtue. You have vice with Adam in the burning bush and virtue with Eve and the tree of life. Okay. Um, and so for some of you, you're really taking taking into consideration what it is you truly want. Vice here being the des wants and desires and direction of others, virtue being your own desires, right? Moving in the direction that you want to move in regardless of what or despite what other people might say about it or ha their opinions about it. And there is a big, there, for some of you, this really is family. This has a lot to do with family. Um, you might really be breaking away from what your family has expected of you, how you may have, um, shown up in your life in terms of what your family expected and now you're going in a very different direction there is a big completion and for some of it for some of you out there um this was a major this is a major cycle that's closing out uh you're really gaining a lot of new autonomy and stuff like that which is really great okay so now let's get into the general the the surrounding energies here so um you can look at this as like the first half of your reading and the second half, I'm sorry, the first half of your month, the second half of your month. Personally, I recommend that you look at this as the first half of the reading and the second half of the reading and just allow the energies and the messages to like coalesce and just swirl around and land wherever they fit for you. Okay. Time is an illusion. All right. So I don't really, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. This just, just, but take it as it resonates, do whatever you, whatever feels best for you. Okay. First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading, Scorpio. There you are. Death. Yeah, there's a big transformation happening here for you. Big transformation. Closing out of cycles. Okay, death is coupled with the Seven of Cups. Interesting. So what I'm getting here, Scorpio, um, either you or someone else. This could be you. This could be someone that you're connecting with. But... Um, I really feel like with this seven of cups energy coupled with death, it's like you're tying up loose ends, especially with that king of swords energy that came out first. It's like you're really, you're at a point now where you really can look at the situations around you and see them for what they are. All right. See the truth behind them. See more truth behind them. 
your awareness may probably really be heightened, sharpened, much clearer than it may have been in the past. And so I really feel like you're you're going through all of the stuff. Yeah, this should really just feels like tying up loose ends, okay, Scorpio? As you're going through this transformation with death. Second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading, you've got the Five of Cups. Okay, um, and so that absolutely can come with any sort of death change transformation i mean this is a five also um and five is a number of change and challenges i do see but this is exactly why i really feel like that king of swords energy is kind of your best friend in this situation because with this transformation whoops with this transformation obviously there are things that are going to need to be left behind and so um, there, it's a grieving process. You're, I really kind of feel like you're mourning that. But this also could be why you're really pushing your emotions to the side or to the background because you may. this may be a really emotionally volatile time for you right now and you're really trying to keep your wits about you. Or at least you need to be. If you're not doing that right now, you probably need to be, okay? Five of Cups is coupled with, oof, the Seven of Swords. All right, but you see here, Here's the other thing about this King of Swords energy that came out. Um, you might want to, yes, work on keeping your emotions in check, but don't hide from them. Don't bury them. Don't deceive yourself in saying that you're not feeling something when you are. Allow yourself to feel your emotions, but look at them for what they are. If you are feeling sad, regret, remorse, or like you're feeling the pinch of losing something, recognize that. Feel it. Don't just sweep it under the rug. It's only going to make things more difficult for you, okay? Allow your emotions to flow, but... Yes, keep them in check and also see them for what they are. It's literally just the energies moving through you as you're going through this transformation process, okay? I mean, there might be a lot of confusion for you right now, sure, especially with the Seven of Cups here, but you also, you have two Sevens, Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords. The, this is a number of wisdom, also of luck, all right? So I really do feel like things, if you if you handle this correctly, Scorpio, things really could work out in your favor, maybe much better than you might have thought. Or, yeah, much better than you might have thought or expected them to, right? Your challenge. In the first half of the reading here, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Learning the lessons, getting down to the nitty-gritty of what it is you really want to be doing, the longevity, looking forward, okay? Here's the thing. Part of what's probably making this so difficult, this chat, this this uh, transformation that you're going through is so difficult, is needing to decipher what it is you need and what it is you don't. The best thing to do is to look off in the future for a moment, say, where do I want to be X amount of time down the road and what do I need to get there? Focusing on the long term. I feel like you're having trouble focusing on the long term right now. Maybe because the situation is so difficult, um, you might be pretty depressed. Some of you may be pretty depressed. Um, and that's, and it's almost, I'm, I'm kind of feeling like an energy, like I don't even want to look that far in the future. Like I don't even want to, I don't know if I want to be here that long. That kind of, and I'm not, and I, yes, that's kind of morbid, but I kind of get it. Um, I really kind of get it. What, but, but instead, okay, so, so instead focus on the here and the now. Um, if you don't want to look off into the future, but I really do feel like your challenge here is the longevity, being in it for the long haul, yeah? Ten of Pentacles is coupled with, ah, the Seven of Pentacles, yeah, absolutely. D take stock. Your challenge right now is to take stock of what it is you want, where it is you come from, what it is you've experienced, what is your current harvest, and what do you want to have harvest in the future? This is very much a reap what you've sown situation, so you're kind of in the energy of, ooh, maybe that wasn't such a good idea, or ooh, I don't like the way that harvest looks, or this, this feels kind of rotten, how can we make it better in the future? You have to be able to look, now stay present, yes, stay in the present moment, but definitely be able to look off in the future and, say, and kind of plan for that, yeah? Your closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Scorpio, the magician. You're manifesting it. That's literally what I just heard. You're manifesting it. You're manifesting your future. This is really 
uh, an energy of taking control of what it is you wish to manifest and using the talents and the skills and the tools at your disposal to get that. For some of you, this is kind of challenging. For others of you, this is kind of like the first time you're really taking control of what it is you're manifesting, especially like if you're dealing with a situation where, you know, you were um, following the guidance of family or you were following in certain individual's footsteps, but now you're going off on your own path. It is kind of scary. It's challenging, but it's absolutely worth it because it's incredibly fulfilling, okay? The magician is coupled with, ah, temperance, Sag Sagittarian energy potentially um there's a deep sense of balance here and okay so the guidance here in dealing with manifesting what it is you truly want coming into balance within yourself is really going to help you do that and i really do feel like that's what you're going through right now with this transformation and the seven of cups energy okay there is a new you that's coming through here. That's what Temperance is saying. Especially coupled with the Magician, it's like you are manifesting your new you. And I do feel like it's fairly conscious. There are some individuals that this is like your, high, your, your subconscious or your higher self is, is manifesting this, is manipulating this and creating it. There are others of you that are actually much more aware of the transformation that you're going through and how you're actively manifesting yourself. You're much more aware of that than you may think or realize, okay? Cool, Scorpio. This, this feels really good. I'm not going to lie. Even though you have, you know, this Five of Cups energy with the Seven of Swords, please do not doubt your emotions. Do not run from them. Do not hide them. Do not sweep them out of the, under the rug. Stay as logical as you can, but ultimately face what you're feeling. That's what Spirit is saying right now. Face what you're feeling, okay? Getting into the second half of your reading here, first set of surrounding energies, you've got the Ten of of cups scorpio yes emotional fulfillment wish fulfillment there really could be someone that you're you're connecting with here that's ten of cups but i feel like what's with this transformation that's happening for you i really I'm, I, it's like you're starting to see the beauty in things you're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel I, yeah, I'm just, I'm getting an image of like the clouds parting and the sun coming out and you just being optimistic about life again. Okay, Ten of Cups is coupled with, ha, the Hermit. Uh, Virgo energy, you could be dealing with a Virgo potentially. But the biggest thing that I'm getting here for you, Scorpio, is like this month is really probably going to be a great time for you to do some soul searching, doing some inner soul work following that that's going to help you follow your own path that's going to bring forward this ten of cups energy for you that's going to help you manifest or at least move towards some sort of deeper fulfillment emotionally i like that scorpio second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here you got ugh, the three of swords okay but it's through the heartbreak that you're going to be able to heal I do feel like this Three of Swords energy is kind of in the past. You're facing this energy. There could be a soulmate or a, a, a potential partner here that you are line aligning with. Um, you're manifesting into your life. Um, and it has everything to do with the heartbreak that you've dealt with in the past. It's helped you. I don't, this is, I, I'm having, a, I'm having a hard time putting this into words, but it's like, the heartbreak you've dealt with in the past is leading you to this situation, this alignment, this manifestation. Even if, it, even if it's not a, someone like a romantic partner that you're aligning with here, ultimately, whatever you dealt with in the past has led you here. And that's what I think you're starting to understand with this hermit energy and the Ten of Cups. That's where the clouds are starting to part and the sun is coming out. You're starting to see the beauty in the madness even. Three of Swords is coupled with <laughs> the Tower. See, now this is exactly what I'm talking about here. This is more Scorpio energy, actually. Um, more of your own energy. But 
the three of swords with the tower is like okay so the heartbreak happened but it helped you break break down a structure that no longer serves you okay and there and, and from there q and then you know you have your your overall energy of the six of cups the lovers judgment and then the world underneath that where this is coming out coming to a close this this cycle whatever this represents for you it's coming to a close so this is why this three of swords energy actually feels you could say it's like a blessing in disguise because it helped you break down or it is helping you break down or maybe there's something that's going to happen in the month of may for you that's going to help you break down whatever it is that no longer serves you yes okay your challenge in the second half of your reading here you've got the eight of wands communication travel potentially um Clear and open air, clear and open space for you to get moving, but I think this really could be about communication as your challenge. Clearing the air, making something known to someone, speaking your truth, speaking up, moving in your own, moving in your direction. This is also more Sagittarian energy with the Eight of Wands. You could be really be, you could have Sagittarius in your chart. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. This, yeah, the challenge here really feels like communication the most. And this really could be communicating to uh, family, friends, or whatever, people that are close to you that you're going in this new direction. Um, maybe you might have a conversation with people. It could be a heartbreaking situation. And that way, that's why it could be challenging um, because you're going in your own separate direction, okay? Eight of Wands is coupled with, yeah, the Knight of Wands. You are going in your own separate direction. Again, more Sagittarian energy. But also the challenge is to get moving, Scorpio. Now, as a fixed sign, you are a fixed sign. Um, it could be hard, challenging for you to really initiate something new. But I feel like you do have the inspiration. But the challenge here is, is the challenge here is to shine your light and to 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 be the torchbearer, to be the way shower, the, the the trailblazer, especially with this um, inner soul work that you're the, the the inner work that you're doing or could be doing, potentially have the potential to do the things that you could learn about yourself or that you've discovered about yourself with this hermit energy that's helping clear the air or uh, clear the clouds. The challenge here is for you to communicate that and express yourself and to go forward with it, okay? Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, you've got the three of pentacles. So this is uh, self-mastery, working on yourself, rebuilding, okay? Body, mind, and spirit coming together to flesh out something new. This could be a co-working situation um, in the sense of uh, entrepreneurship or uh, a job. Um, you, I would also, if you are, if you, for some of you, if you've been maybe trying to, or thinking that you need some help or you want to enlist some, enlist some help, rec I recommend going for it. It really could help you here. Maybe for some of you, this, this uh, new direction that you're going in is a new job or working independently, starting your own business, maybe something like that. Because this is the card of the entrepreneur. Yeah, entrepreneurship. Three of Pentacles is coupled with, whoa, death. Not death, I'm sorry, the devil. But the devil is reversed and that's interesting. I don't read reversals, but that came out here for you. I'm going to leave it like that. But see, this is a release of some sort of attachment. This could be a Capricorn. You could be dealing with Capricorn energy. You could have Capricorn in your chart. You could be um, aligning with a Capricorn. But this to me is the release of stagnancy, um, addictions, codependency, toxicity, that kind of thing in favor of rebuilding yourself. It's almost like this feels like you're releasing some sort of toxicity or um i'm hearing narcissism it could be narcissism um you're releasing something from your life that maybe has kept you from um mastering yourself being the master of your own domain 
okay? Doing, working on, doing your self-mastery work. And that really could be family. This could really be an energy of you are releasing codependent ties to family, friends, or whatever that in, or oh, in order for you to move forward and do something new with your life, okay? That's pretty cool, Scorpio. That's a very good reading. So now we're going to get into your closing message, your oracle guidance here for the month of May. For my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <laughs> All right, Scorps. Let's see what we have here for you. Best message, please, Spirit, to close out this reading for my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May. Best message for Scorpio, please. Oracle Guidance. There it is. Wow. Okay. Very nice. Card number 42, Goddess Hecate and Mika crossroads of destiny look at that look at that now this does boil down to a six in 42 four and two equals six six to me is a healing energy okay um but let's see what this says here we bring you the empowerment of the crossroads of destiny you are at a pivotal point on your life journey this may be obvious to you with a potentially life-changing decision before you or you may not realize the impact that an apparently insignificant choice is going to have on your future. Either way, you are at a point where you can leave the past behind and chart your course for a new adventurous chapter to begin in your life. This is not something you need to be frightened of. It is a sign you are progressing on your path. The crossroad of destiny happens when you have mastered a cycle in your life and a new cycle is before you. It is an opportunity that you can, best, that you can take best advantage of by listening to your heart. There you go, Scorpio. I mean, this is really good. So I know this could be challenging. I know, because this is a big change. A massive change, even. But it's worth it in the end. All right, Scorpio. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, don't hesitate to email me. My email is in the description box below. I hope you guys have a great month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of June. Yes? Take care. Mwah! Bye.